Hello everyone, good morning to you all, good morning brothers and sisters, good morning mothers and papas, good morning everyone in the world, good morning to you all, hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Yes, I met Pastor Mrs. Unisage of Jesus Power Assembly of All Nations, 9,000 Gents, and Gent is in Belgium, praise God forever, hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Yes, our weekly activities, every Wednesday we have a Bible study, 7 o'clock to 8.30. Every Friday, we have our, our deliverance services, our prayer service, and from 7 o'clock to 8.30. And of course, every Sunday like today, we have Holy Ghost service, hallelujah to Jesus Christ. And every first Friday of the month, we have our all night where we come together to pray and put it down where it belongs. And we have our first Sunday of every month, our Holy Communion and anointing service. Praise God forever. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Yes. I'm here this morning to tell us uh, shortly about uh, what we need to know about our own selves, about yourself. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. How how to make our life very easy and things easier for you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God Almighty. Glory be to God Almighty. Yes, I'm here to tell us today that deliverance begins from your thinking life. Deliverance begins from your thinking life, you know. And a lot of people are thinking, oh, um, you know, I've been attending church for years. I've been, uh, you know, I've been uh, loving God for years. You know, I've been moving from one place to another for years. You know, I didn't get my deliverance. You know, some people are thinking, oh, giving up is the option. Some people are thinking, oh, uh, thinking God does not remember them, you know, is the option. Some people thinking God is bad to them. Some people thinking maybe even their own situation is too heavy for God to carry or to solve. You know, but I'm here to tell you that those thinking, they are wrong. Those mentalities, they are wrong. You know, for you to be delivered of any kind begins from your own thinking, begins from yourself. Hallelujah. For you to be delivered completely, you know, the foundation is you, you know, for you to be delivered of any kind. Maybe you have been believing God, you know, for uh, the fruit of the womb. Maybe you have been believing God to stop that bad habit, you know. Maybe you have been drinking or smoking or lying or fornicating or doing all kinds of bad things. Or you have been believing God for a life partner. Or you have been believing God, you know, to have a business of your own or to have a good job. You have been believing God. You know, to have your documentation if you are living in abroad or wherever. You know, you are believing God, you want to start a small scale business or you want to have a better life. You have been believing God for it, you know, and you, you know that there is something wrong with you. You yourself, you know that something is wrong with you, but you don't know how it can be solved, you know. All you do is to go to church and you have been going to church for many years, you've been going to church for months. You've just started going to church or you've been going to church for so long time. You understand? And or, you know, you have been moving from one place to another looking for who will deliver you and how you can be delivered but i'm here to give you the good news you know you may go to east west north south you may go to the best church in the world like people who say they had their, their best church in the world for me the best church in the world is the church where the holy spirit is the administrator where jesus christ is the head that's the best church praise god forever the best church is not by congregation it's not by how many congregations you have the best church is not how big your church is the best church is not how dressed the pastors or the people in the church is. No, the best church is the church where Jesus Christ is the head and the Holy Spirit, the administrator. That's the best church. Praise God forever. So that is that. Then what I'm talking about is deliverance begins from your own self, from the way you think. Deliverance begins from the way you think. Hallelujah. When you don't think that you can be delivered, you can never be delivered. When you don't think that it will be okay with you, it will never be okay with you. You know, it's not about going from one place to another or just, no, it begins from you. Deliverance begins from you. You can be completely delivered of any kind. Because nothing is too hard for God to do. For with God, all things are possible. You know, we are serving the God of possibility. The God that make where there seems to be no way. The God that will scatter all the plans of the enemy. The God that will destroy that spiritual husband, that spiritual wife. The God that will kill all the spiritual children you have in the sea. Hallelujah. 
That's the God we are serving. When you come to him with your heart prepared to be delivered, when you come to him with your heart prepared to receive, you must surely receive. Listen to me. There are these two people in the Bible. There are these two people in the Bible, Joshua and Caleb. We all know the story, you know? They need to possess a particular land, you know? And then we are 12, 12 spies were sent out, you know? Out of the 12, only two saw the goodness of the land. But the rest 10, they came to give a negative report. Because what they saw, they saw giants in the land. They saw people, they saw all kinds of things in the land. And they came back, they said, no, they cannot possess that land. And they were not asked why. Because they, they said, because there were lots of people, you know, giants, you know, giant people. They were looking at the sides of the people in the land, but they were not looking up to God. They came and they said, no, they cannot. But among the twelve, there were only two that was that was that were that were very, very uh, buoyant, that were bold, hallelujah, that had the thinking, uh, right thinking mentality. They saw the land. And they came, they said, we can possess the land. They said, we can possess the land. You know? And they were not asked why. They said, yeah, because we are serving the God of impossibility. We are serving the God that make way where there seems to be no way. God has promised to be with us in the end of time. So, with God on our side, we are possessing that land. Why 10 of them said, no, they cannot. You see the difference? They were 12. Two have a positive mentality to possess it, to receive to get it, to receive deliverance, to get their breakthrough. Two, that's Joshua and Caleb. But 10 of them, they said, no, they cannot possess it, so they lose it. Praise God forever. Proverbs 23, verse 7. Proverbs 23, verse 7. Let's see what Proverbs 23, verse 7 says. Very quickly, because I'm going to join the service. Service has begun now. Let's see what Proverbs, the book of Proverbs. See what Proverbs said here. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Now, we have to know that, you know, God is a very good God. Ready to save us, ready to deliver us, ready to help us in every circumstances, in every situation. In everywhere we find ourselves, he's ever ready. Proverbs chapter 23, let's see what he says. Proverbs 23 verse 7 says, As for he thinketh in his heart, so he eats. Eat and drink, said he to thee. But his heart is not with thee. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. If you think that you can be delivered, you'll be delivered. If you think that, you know, you cannot be delivered, there is nothing anyone can do about it. Praise God forever. There is nothing anyone can do about it. If you believe that you can be delivered, you can be delivered. Look at what Proverbs 23 verse 7. He said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Now, let's go very quickly to... Uh, Proverbs 20, that same 23 verse 9. Proverbs, that same 23 verse 9. It says, Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of your words. Praise God. You know? When you tell some people you can be delivered, when you tell some people your life can be better, your life can be best, your life can be, you know, you can, you can blow, you can, you know, you can rain, you can, you know, you, you all things. You know, when you tell some people, they will think maybe it's a joke. They will think maybe you are just making up. You are not making up. You are not making up. You know? When you are not believing the words of a genuine prophet of God, God call you a fool. You know? When you tell some people, you know, how things can go with them or how things will be perfect with them, they will say, you know, it's not. Hallelujah. Glory be to God Almighty. 